Обалдеть, вот это скорость. Речка Ангара. Зашел в воду, нырнул и вынырнул там в мост. We decided to dedicate this summer vacation to acquaintance with a unique lake with the deepest on our planet and the largest in terms of fresh water volume. With the Lake Baikal. The maximum depth of Lake Baikal is about 1,700 meters. In terms of the area of the water surface, Baikal also has not equal, more than 30,000 square kilometers. This is approximately equal to the area of countries such as Belgium or the Netherlands. Lake Baikal is located on the border between the Irkutsk region and the Republic of Buryatia. Hardly said, already done. And now we are already flying with Ural Airlines, as the famous song says, towards the dawn. In 1661, not far from the mouth of the Irkut into the Angara, the Irkutsk prison was built to protect against nomadic raids. And already in 1701, it was marked on the maps as Irkutsk City. The construction of the prison was led by Yenisei Cossack Yakov Ivanovich Pokobov. He is considered the founder of the city of Irkutsk. As joked the wonderful city guide Donskoy Sergei, with whom we took a walk through the historical center of the city with great pleasure, and which we highly recommend to you. But there will be a separate report about this excursion. Well, they say that our city was not named after its founder. Otherwise, it would not be called Irkutsk now, but Pokobovsk. Our plane landed at Irkutsk airport early in the morning, and check-in at the hotel was not supposed to be until 14 o'clock. By the way, the link to the video about the central hotel, where we stayed during our stay in Irkutsk, can be found in the description. So the first thing we decided to do was to visit my second cousin, Gregory. Gregory, a native of Irkutsk and a patriot. For Irkutsk, he spares no soul and free time. There is a good word in Russian, Fallen. That applies to Grigory. He is very happy about his hometown. It's so nice to take a walk on the bank of the Angara in the early morning. Fortunately, Gregory lives very close to the shore. В чем прелесть отдыха в Сибири? Это то, что мы идем сейчас по набережной, залитой солнцем. А нам не жарко. Нам свежо, пахнет рекой. Literally five minutes at a leisurely pace, and we are at the monument to Alexander the Third. The monument to Alexander III was erected in 1908 in honor of the completion of the construction of the Trans-Siberian Railway as its founder.
From the monument, you can walk to the island's youth and horsemen. In the past, the islands were called small and big horsemen and were used by the inhabitants as pastures for the cattle, including horses, hence the name. In the 60s of the last century, a recreation area was established on the islands. The islands were renamed, and now they are used only for the citizens of the city. The area is a noble. You can play various sports games, ride horses, eat, drink, visit various attractions. For example, we chose to ride the Ferris wheel to see the city from a bird's eye view. <laughs> Irkutsk has the highest Ferris wheel on Horse Island. It is 50 meters high and takes 12 minutes for a complete rotation. While we were walking, it was time to check into a hotel. Hotel Central is without a doubt a good choice. Link to the video, our impressions of the hotel, in the description. The guys decided to rest a little, to clean their feathers after a long flight. And I went to survey the surroundings and, so to speak, say hello to Irkutsk. Fortunately, in keeping with its name, the Central is located in the heart of the city. When you leave the hotel, you are already in the historic center. On the square of labor stands a sculptural composition. The famous Russian movie director Leonid Gaidai, and opposite his legendary movie trinity, Coward, Dunce, and Experienced, whose idea was born here in Irkutsk. Gaidai graduated from high school in Irkutsk, went to the front in 1942, and after being wounded, returned to his hometown, where he worked as an actor at the Irkutsk Drama Theater for five years, before joining the directing department of the All-Union State Institute of Cinematography in Moscow. And now we enter one of the oldest streets of Irkutsk, Yuritsky Street. The street was named in 1920 after the chairman of the Petrograd Cheka, Moses Solomonovich Yuritsky. Before that, it was called Pestareva Street, in honor of the famous Irkutsk merchant Nikolai Vasilyevich Pesterev. Among people, Yuritsky Street, better known as the Irkutsk Arbat, probably because it is the only pedestrian street in the city. 